Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm Teacher Emmy, and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. All right, let's now start our new discussion. Okay, let's now start our discussion with lesson number twelve. And lesson number twelve's topic is about. Can you read this word? Okay, the topic is reprimanding. Reprimanding. Okay, so do you know what reprimanding means? Okay, let's now go to the teacher's language. So let's try to see it here. Okay, and let's try to read. Teacher's language starts with, "Hey, what's this?" Okay. Next one. Who drew this? Next. Can somebody tell me? <laughs> Who did this? I'll ask you one more time. You know you shouldn't have done that. Last one is. It's all right this time, but don't do it again. Okay. Now next, let's go to students' language. I did. Last one is I'm sorry. Okay. So, let's go to the dialogue part so we can understand it better. You can see here, dialogue part starts here. The teacher enters the room and sees a drawing on the board making fun of a student. Okay, and the teacher said, "Hey, what's this?" Students, no response. It means that no one is talking. Okay, now let's go to the next page. Okay, let's continue the dialogue on this part. The teacher asks again, "Who drew this? Can somebody tell me?" Students, no response again this time. Teacher, who did this? Students, no response. Teacher, Jiho, do you know who did it? Okay, Jiho said, I don't know. Teacher, okay, I'll ask you one more time. Who did this? And Sangsu said, I did. Teacher, it was you, Sangsu. You know you shouldn't have done that. Sangsu said, I'm sorry. Teacher, it's all right this time, but don't do it again. Okay, so did you understand the dialogue right there? <laughs> Now let's go on to the other expressions this time. Number one, it says here, who drew this? <laughs> who drew this picture, or who put th this drawing on the board? So this three sentences or three questions just means the same thing, okay? Number two now, can somebody tell me? Tell me. Or, I want you to tell me. Another one is, tell me who did it. And, uh, I want to know who did it. Okay? Number three, you know you shouldn't have done that. That's not like you. Or, why did you do it? Or, you know better than that. Okay? Next, it's all right this time, but don't do it again. I'll let it go now, but don't ever do it again. And last one, let's forget it this time, but don't do it again. Okay? So did you get and did you understand all the sentences that we've read? All right, let's now go into the next page. Okay, on this part, we can see here the other expressions for students. So the student said, I did, or we could also say, I did it, or it was I, it was me. Like that, okay? <laughs> so this is the Korean translation of the dialogue. You can read it so you will have an idea if you didn't understand something from the English. Okay, so this is it. Okay? Now you can see here, asking who did something wrong. If you want to ask someone, you could say, who did this? Who made this mess? Or who broke this? 
who pulled this off the wall. Okay, so these are some examples of sentences that you could ask when someone did something wrong. Okay, now let's try to go on to the next discussion, will, which will be a new lesson. Wait, on lesson number 13 now. Okay, so the topic is telling students about classroom rules. Again, telling students about classroom rules. So let's try to read the teacher's language first. First here is, we need to make some classroom rules. Here are some things to remember. First, you can't chew gum in class. Also, be quiet when I'm talking. Here's another rule, no hats worn in class. So what are our rules? Let's be sure to follow all of these rules. Okay, let's try to see the dialogue so we can understand that. Teacher, we need to make some ru classroom rules. Here are some things to remember. First, you can't chew gum in class. Also, be quiet when I'm talking. Here's another rule, no hats worn in class. Do you understand all these rules? Students said, yes, teacher. Okay, so what are our rules? Students, answer in Korean or English. Teacher, okay, let's be sure to follow all of these rules. So let's study the other expressions. Number one, we need to make some classroom rules. You could also say we have to set some rules for our class. We need to have some rules in this class. Number two, here are some things to remember. Here are several rules you need to follow. Let me tell you about some things you can't do in class. Next, first, you can't chew gum in class. First of all, no gum chewing. Or first of all, it's not all right to chew gum in class. Or first of all, I don't allow gum chewing in class. Okay. Number four, also be quiet when I'm talking. In addition, when I talk, you need to be quiet. Next, while I'm talking, don't talk to other students. Here's another rule, another thing. Here's another thing. Here's one more rule. There's something else. Number six, no hats worn in class. You shouldn't wear your hat in class. You're not allowed to wear hats in class. I don't want you wearing hats in class. Last one, seven, so what are our rules? So, what's not all right to do? So, what shouldn't you do in class? Or, sh so, let's go over our rules again, what are they? Okay, another one, you can see here the Korean translation of the dialogue. Alright, so that's it for now. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm teacher Emmy. See you in our next video lesson. Goodbye.